Now. Hi everyone, it's Jack here at Main Skill. So today we've got a bit of something different to show you. So me and Rob are here, I've got my glamorous assistant and Rob. And what we are doing is this you here, it doesn't look so bad now, but what she's doing is she's prolapsing. So why she's doing that is these are the triplets in here. So what it is, is you get too much pressure inside a sheep with all three lambs in there sometimes, and they start to prolapse. So as you can see, there's only a little bit there now, but when she lies down, it comes out bigger. So what we want to do is we're going to get a harness on her, which holds everything tight, keeps it right, and then it just doesn't let that come back out. So we're going to do that now, and then it should keep her right. Because last thing you want is coming in here in the morning and are shoving it all out. That's called the lamb bed. That's the last thing you want out. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we've got some water here with hippie scrub, some warm water. I'm going to give it a wash down. If you don't come on. If Rob can keep out of it. Yeah. Come on, Rob, fetch it back. So you just give it a clean down with the hippie scrub. So this gives it a right good clean. Get rid of all that dirt, because you don't want to push it back in there with the dirt and the muck and get an infection. Any bits of straw, make sure they're all off. And there we go. Right, so that's off. And you just literally pop it back in like that. Well, it's nice and easy when it's only a little bit like that. When it's the size of a football, you've got a problem. And what we got here is, here's one I produced earlier. We have a U truss. So this goes on the U to hold it in. So just get it out now, it's a brand new one this, that's why it's in a million and one bits apparently. And what we do, here we go, all these, clicked apart. Put that bit first. Should have had this bit ready, Claire. And that, clicks onto here. It's been 12 months since I've done this, so bear with me. And this bit is the bit that goes around the neck to make sure it doesn't all slide off. So that goes round here. Right, so it's still in there. So what we do, we get that round there. We've got something to grab hold of and Rob let's go over here. There we go. Right, now this bit here sits with the tail through there, so you've got to get the tail through there and that gap sits there, so you get it like that. Oh, just steady Rob. I oh, know, no. don't want to run it off now. Not now, most important bit. Like that, right, so that's on now, that's positioned in the right place. Just needs to be over a bit, but what we do is we tighten it up and that'll pull that up and hold it tight over that. So we get it sat like that. And what we do is these clips on the side, just pull it through like that, tighten that side up and tighten the other side up. You've got to keep it even. You don't want it twisting and popping off one side. So you've got to keep it even. So see where it's sat now, you keep checking. So there we go. So it's like that, it just wants to be up a little bit now. So you tighten the top strap now. Around here, because there's a lot of slack there. Don't make it too tight though, you don't hang her. And there we go, let's have a look at it. And there we go, it's sat over. She's not impressed being the model, but he's sat over, he's holding it in, and there we go. Rob. She wanted to sit down, she never knows. She wants a rest, she's fed up with you, Rob. She is. Come on, girl. Oh, and there we go. Is. Just like that. So that is Rob and Jack yeah. <laughs> showing you how to put a U harness on a U. So if you have a prolapse, that's what you need to do. And also, secret tip, if it comes out too much and you can't get it back in, if you sprinkle sugar onto the prolapse, it makes it shrink and it starts to pull itself back in. So that's a secret tip as well to help you out. There you go.